Finn, let's discuss Senator Lindsey Graham's visit to Nebraska yeah. this week in regards to pushing for a winner-take-all system when it comes to the state's five electoral votes. Five Republican lawmakers from Nebraska are also pushing for this. But remind us which states sort of do this hybrid and why and what it would take for that to change. Well, Nebraska, too. The Nebraska 2nd District has one electoral vote. And that area, that blue dot, if you will, is a very... Uh, um, uh, more uh, traditionally Democratic voting section of a very red state. Uh, but that one electoral vote is part of one of the paths to 270 on the electoral map for the Harris campaign. And it, if, if it is a close race, and then we do see in, in the polling data that we've seen this week uh, in these key battleground states, it could, could, I want to emphasize could, come down to one electoral vote. Therefore, by, by uh, changing that, uh, by eradicating, if you will, uh, that one blue dot, that one electoral vote, it gives the, uh, the Republicans and Trump an advantage on that map. So that's why there's been such an, an interest by uh, Trump allies. That's why we've seen uh, Senator Graham, who is a key, an advisor uh, to the former president, go down there. And I think that that's something that we need to watch, because if that changes, it does sort of, it's a little bit like Jenga in terms of the, uh, the strategic map for, for Democrats. Ben Gomez, thank you. Thank you.